for you to be successful in poultry farming you have to make biosecurity your top priority there is an old saying which says prevention is better than cure but in poultry production i will tell you that prevention is far cheaper than cure what's up my people welcome to my youtube channel life of a farmer loaf where we discuss farming in details i remain your anchor ishokri of Okiroye. and if this is your first time of coming across my video then you are in the right place at the right time do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button give me a thumbs up like share and drop your questions in the comment section do not forget also to click the bell icon so that you get notification anytime i upload a video without wasting much of your time i want to dive into the main cuckoo today i want to discuss about biosecurity and disease prevention on the poultry farm Biosecurity is a tool that helps to minimize the effect of infections and decrease the impact of diseases. I would say in a layman terms that it is a, a kind of practice that is implemented on poultry farms in order to reduce the risk of disease agents moving onto farms from outside source so it can be from wild birds or birds from other farms or um, kind of movement of disease agents between shades on the same farm or disease from one batch to the next badge from this definition i would say it has to be set down rules of fundamental practices and strategies and it's mostly by management factors i want to give a brief a things that you should look into when it comes to biosecurity of your farm because once biosecurity is neglected that means your farm or your poultry is neglected so ensure a successful biosecurity measures the poultry farm have to be mindful of the following means through which beds could be infected and also the control measures one through contaminated people and visitors directly or indirectly humans are one of the major contaminants of poultry beds or poultry farm sometimes when people visit your farm they are tagged as potential carriers of germs and diseases unknown to them through their clothing footwear hair and hands personal items such as mobile phones all these are carriers in such case the best control measures is to keep visitors away from the farm or production areas and you can also prevent such by um, placing foot dips in strategic places at every entrance into the pen so you should also try to ask your visitors before they come to the farm you should ask them the last place of visit before coming to your farm and find out if they had contact with other poultry beds or other poultry farm in the last two days once this is done you will be able to minimize your the, the risk of infection then you should also try as much as you can to restrict access to your poultry unless necessary for instance those that do not have anything to offer or anything to do with the farm should not come to the farm also make sure to replace food baths whenever they are dirty then the second one through which um diseases can enter into your farm and how to prevent it is through contaminated vehicles and poultry equipment contaminated vehicles and equipment they have direct contact with your poultry base such that vehicles and equipment from suppliers are a very high risk for spreading pathogens so this can be reduced by just simply um putting only one entry point for vehicles and also making a parking area for for the that is very far from the production another thing is that the egg trees should be properly disinfected before reuse as well as other farm equipment these egg trees they are major carrier of germs and disease so i think the best thing if you have a layer farm and the best thing for you to do is to create an athlete far away from your production area or from your poultry farm so once the eggs have been collected they should be transported to the outlet from the outlet the empty crates should be disinfected before bringing them back to the farm 
by this you are helping to break the the pathogens that are responsible for causing disease and biosecurity you are making biosecurity your priority and also the drinkers and feeders should be clean and flush with consumable disinfectants. What I mean by consumable disinfectants are there are some disinfectants that act as antiviral or antibacterials that can be used or that can also be taken by 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 your beds. For instance, there is this drug we call a neodine. Neodine is a disinfectant which can be used to, to disinfect your pen and can also be mixed into their drinking water for the best to drink. So whenever you want to disinfect your poultry farm and there, there are beds still on the farm what you just need is to use this consumable disinfectant we have neodymium we have um iodesteryl so so many of them just to mention a few so you can use these ones to treat your beds and disinfect to wash to flush the drinkers as well then the fourth one for the case of wild beds which i measure threat especially to lame beds these wild beds i have an account whereby you see these beds whenever it's feeding time they will just fly in from wherever i don't know and before you know they are inside the poultry pen eating directly with these beds wild beds they don't take treatment they don't take vaccines they don't take drugs they are just in the wild so they are heavy carriers of pathogens and they are disease carriers so the first thing you should do on setting up your farm is to make sure that every areas that birds can fly through are blocked or are sealed off to prevent them gaining entrance into your pot into your poultry farm and secondly this can be achieved by using a kind of net that we normally call chicken net these chicken nets can only one of your finger can pass through it so those size of nets should be used the problem we had is that they are not durable but there are some that are very durable and are very expensive you can get those ones and used to fence your farm your poultry farm all around then another way that you can prevent these um, beds from gaining access into your poultry farm is by removing any flowery trees that you know that the beds can perch on or that will attract these beds then another aspect is that uh, this um, drinking spot any drinking spots that you have for wild beds or any body of water any um, place that has body of water that can retain body that can retain some amount of water outside should be removed so that the beds will not have access to come and drink from there and thereafter go into your poultry pen our measures to guide against our stray animals or other domestic livestock and rodents rodents are very difficult to control in poultry farm so a control plan has to be introduced which is very necessary feed that spills which could attract stray animals should be cleaned immediately feed should be properly stored from being contaminated from rodent and wild bed then another very important thing i must say is air this is unavoidable because your beds they need air they breathe in and they breathe out so for you to seal off the place so that air will not come in is very very impossible but we should also know that there are airborne diseases so how would you not be able to control this the best way to control this airborne disease is to make sure that there is a distance between your farm and other farms preferably between one to five kilometers should be between your farm and other farms and another way that you can that can help you to to control this is by planting non-bed attracting trees and shrubs and these trees and shrubs they will act as wind breaks or as a barrier first and foremost before i give you the last and the most important one i want you to take less than a minute to click the subscribe button if you know you haven't done it click the bell icon if you haven't done it and give me a thumbs up if you haven't done it and like share so that we can reach a larger audience thank you for being there and I want to thank all my thank to all my old and new subscribers. You mean a lot to me. The last but not the least is a practice which I will always encourage you to do, and that is all in, all out, or one age, one site. My best advice to anyone starting a new poultry farm is to practice all in, all out system, as this is the 
only method that stands any chance of survival in the poultry industry. In short form, all birds enter the farm and exit same time. There should be no crossing of groups of birds of different origins or age because this facilitates the entry of microorganisms. Moreover, it allows that between production periods, the entire farm can be emptied, cleaned, fumigated or disinfected before introducing new birds. Other bad security measures to be carried out include proper vaccination of birds, administration of booster dose if necessary, proper recording of and administration of medicine. I must not fail to tell you that mortality from birds must be removed as quickly as possible and the spot be cleaned. The carcass from birds should be burnt or buried and also make sure to inform or call your um your veterinary doctor to come and carry out a postmortem postmortem on any dead bed to know the cause of death and adequate measures or medication be given immediately and i can bet you if all these are followed your farm will be safe your beds will be safe and your investment will be safe it is very easy thank you for staying to the end do not forget to subscribe like share and drop your questions in the comment section see you in my next video peace out